Hey, uh, you like what you see? Wait a minute! Life is pain! Hello, my fellow pal trainers, owners, and slave drivers. What would you say if I told you that as early as level sort of 24-ish, you could go get easily guaranteed just five pals that will run your entire base, every single category of thing a pal can do, covered in huge amounts, five pals. That's it. Freeing up every other slot for any specialized labor that you want, while having this backbone of knowing that everything is under control in a very easy and comfortable way. This is something I've spent a lot of time doing, looking at every single pal, what work skills they bring to the table, and how to get the most of everything in the highest amounts accounted for in the minimal amount of pals, and as early and easy as we can, and I am pretty pleased with what I have come up with. So without further ado, let's go down our shopping list of buddies to acquire. First up then, let's go with Bushi. He is located right here at the bottom left-ish and is a level 23 teleport into the sealed realm boss fight. He's not too bad and once you've got him down and got him captured, we are ready to move on to the next location, which is going to be very close to essentially the center of the map. The big Circle Ruins, and in there we will be once again going to a sealed realm, this time of spirits, and inside here you will be face to face with Petalia, who again is uh, fairly fine to deal with, not too aggressive, none of her moves are that oppressive, I mean, essentially, it's a tight matchup and be high enough level game, isn't it? I'm sure you won't struggle with the capturing, unless you're trying to do this at, like, level 6, but in any case, do said capture and now we are two out of five down. Then uh, we want to head uh, to uh, Mr. Penking's place, the lowest level on uh, this list. He is uh, located here, where the red and the white bit of the map is, and uh, once more, it is a sealed realm. He's within here with his little horde of helpers, and uh, once his majesty now belongs to you, we are good to leave and continue on our little quest. Fourth up, then, is probably the most challenging collection of this entire series, though this one you only need once you start to need electricity, technically, so you could save this one for later, but it is our only open-world Alpha Pal boss on the agenda, at least out of the main five, and it's over on the right island. Here, Mossander Lux. Take him down, get him in one of your balls, and we are looking in a peachy. Then we want to go get two different pals because our fifth base everything pal is going to be the product of breeding. So we need to go capture the parents. First up, we have Chillit, who is only level 11 and located very near to Penking. Run up, and this one should be no problem at all. Make him yours. Now, do make sure of these next two. One is male and one is female for said breeding. The second, then, is Quivern, who is one of my favorite pals. I think he looks absolutely phenomenal. And actually, special shout out to him being a fantastic base worker. If you do have a spare one, or God forbid, don't want to use yours, which is, of course, the objectively wrong decision. In any case, he is over here, very much northwest, and once more, a sealed realm winged tyrant. Get in there and beat him down in a kind of friendly come live with me forever way, and make him yours. Cool! Now, let's handle the breeding to get our fifth base everything pal. You want to have your breeding farm, which you unlock as early as level 19, and then get it built. Basic materials shouldn't trouble you overly muchly. Get yourself a Chillit and Quivern actually as your base pals. Go pick them up and run them both over to the breeding farm, plop them down, and it will assign them to it. Then, you want to make sure you have enough cake to actually fuel the breeding, which of course makes complete sense. In any case, to get cake, it needs some standard materials. You will have a 
bunch of, but there's also two specific ones that might be a little bit more awkward, milk and honey. First for the milk, just to capture yourself a, I'm not even going to give it its actual name, the cow pal, and you will have yourself enough milk, and then for honey, you want the little versions of the bee that guard the Queen Elizabeth. That will have you sorted, and you can also find honey a lot, just generally in the wild, from killing various pals, including the bees. So, once you have all the ingredients, you want the cooking pot, and here you can make the cake. Get the cake in the box, and now we play the waiting game as the egg comes into being. Lovely! Let's get it straight in to the incubator, and once again, spend a lot of time doing a lot of waiting. Alright, now we hatch our huge rocky egg, and very specifically, Chillit and Quivern make a very special pal, a Anubis. This guy is an outstanding battle pal, one of the strongest in the game, and just generally awesome, but he's also an outstanding base pal, specifically for mining, and he is why he is our fifth choice for the everything based in just five pals concept. This then has it complete, so we can now actually go assign them and see why this is so, so good. Here they are. Starting with Bushi, he will give us our source of kindling to cover that angle, but on top of that, a load of handiwork, transport, gathering, and lumbering. A real solid all-rounder, which is indeed the point of these guys. Then we move over to Penguin, who will give us the cooling and and the watering while also contributing to mining and then just more general helpful transporting and handiwork. Brilliant. Then we get to Petalia, who brings in the medicine angle on top of more handiwork transporting, but also planting for your food, and then even more gathering, so we keep stacking up the usefulness while adding in the extra elements that we need. Must send a look, as you might expect, brings the generating electricity while also contributing to the lumbering, handiwork, and transporting, which are all very nice to have as much of as possible. Everything just kind of runs like clockwork. Finally, then, the Anubis brings us level 3 mining, which is just exceptional, and even more handiwork in spades, so things will get crafted and built near instantly, and then even more transporting, which is always useful. So you see now, with all five of these, we have everything we could need in great amounts, and the base will run no matter what you do. Obviously, two caveats. We don't have anything farming, because what you want farming depends on what you need, so I can't really just be like, hey, just put a thing on and that's it forever. Whether you want pal balls, or milk, or gold, or wool, or even cotton candy, just choose your farming options, and the thing is, you have so much space now, because these five only take up five out of a potential, what, 20 slots to do everything, so you have all of the others to specialize in the areas you want to focus, push, have more efficiency, in need or farm. So yes, fill up your farm with the actual resources you want to pass this, and then also fill up the rest of your slots with more specialized. Do a specific kindling, a specific electricity generator, a specifically watering or cooling, you know, complement them. For the rest of your pals, you don't really need any handiwork or transporting or the generic stuff, because these guys have got it while contributing to everything else, so you can really refine the direction your base is going with your remaining slots, with more specific pals. It really is awesome to just see everything happen, and efficiently too, because they're all like level 2 and level 3 in their respective fields, even a level 4 in there, and just seeing them all handle everything is very satisfying, but most importantly, very efficient. A couple of them are quite food hungry, but that's not really an issue when you have a solid food production, which you probably do and should at this stage, and uh, the only other downside is specifically 
typically Missandei Lux is quite big, so make sure you've not chosen a base spot that's like covered in rocks and terrain for him to glitch on and don't cramp things up too much. But other than that, you are absolutely golden and good to go with these guys. I hope that you have found this useful and I think it's a really nice approach to uh, pal basing and really getting the most out of the littlest amount of pals possible, which really gets you uh, to a place where you have so much room to go ultra specialist without actually sacrificing on just the general everything you need to exist in your main base. For now then, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your home to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye <laughs>